welcome back to another brand new video here on my channel. Now in today's video guys we are going to be discussing about the six new vehicles that got released uh, early last week um, for Project Cars 2. Now this is the obviously sim racer that's coming out as a sequel to Project Cars 1, a hell of a lot better and have a hell of a lot more detail and features. Obviously, a new car list is imminent as well, uh, but obviously I'm just going to be going over the uh, cars that just got released and giving you a little bit of information about each one. So less than a year to the uh, predicted schedule of Project Cars 2, uh, Slightly Mad Studios have gone, uh, in the recent weeks, releasing more information about the game and its car list. So recently, four brand new and exciting cars were revealed, along with the McLaren 720S that came as a separate announcement for its launch at the Geneva Motor Show. So the first car that made its way into the list is uh, Vaughan Gittin Jr's Ford F-150 Ultimate Fun Haver. Now bunt, uh, built on the normal 2015 F-150, this modified truck is very far from the ordinary. With a custom front bumper, wheel arches, rims and other custom body parts, as well as very modified performance parts, this is probably one of the most impressive off-road vehicles ever. Sitting under the hood is a 3.5 litre V8 EcoBoost with two turbos and is um, directly injected. Uh, this gives out a absolutely whopping 500 pounds per square feet of torque to all four wheels. To top it off, this beast sits on air suspension, perfect for, for um, Project Cars 2's off-road tracks. So if that doesn't take any fancy guys, we could go for the illustrious 1973 Nissan Fairlady 240 ZG GTS 2. By far being the nicest car on the added list, it's also a racing legend. In fact, it won at Fuji Raceway in 1972 against McLarens and Ferraris, who at the time were winning in every single category they took part in. This can be explained by it's quite powerful for the time, 300 horsepower inline 6 engine, and although it doesn't actually have the pedigree of a race car, I'm sure a bunch of players will try to drift this Japanese monster around the corner or two, just because it's Japanese. Still not impressed by the fair lady? You may want to try out uh, these, both the Nissan GTB X ZX Turbo and the Nissan 300 ZX IMSA will be joining the roster. One is the 1988 IMSA GT with no other than uh, Jeff Batram, the driver four-time champion in this category at the wheel, whilst the others participated in the IMSA GTO series for a year with a VG30 DEWT twin turbo V6 under the bonnet, producing over 800 horsepower. Not bad, isn't it? So that's uh, wrapped up them a uh, few cars now, guys. So Project Cars 2 continues to come in at full swing, uh, as very recently, uh, early last week, two new cars have been um, revealed for the Sim Racer set to release at the end of the year. Uh, sorry, not two, a few more than two. Uh, this time it's all about the modern supercars, and plus an extra vintage racing legend that many fans will be happy to see added into the game. So to kick things off with this one guys, it's the brand new Mercedes 2017 AMG GTR. Originally added to Forza Horizon 3 with the Logitech G car pack, Mercedes new hyper track focus monster will be available to drive in Project Cars 2 from launch. With over two, uh, 200 brake horsepower more, sorry, with over 20 brake horsepower more compared to the AMG GTS, its predecessor, it isn't the only performance upgrades that make the car shine. In fact, this new model is full of aerodynamic upgrades and better downforce to allow it to not only be sleeker and look more aggressive, but to provide world-class traction when braking, coming in and getting out of the corner. It isn't much for nothing that this supercar was developed at the Nürburgring, and its uh, manufacturer colour is named after the ever-so-famous track. If you're not interested, interested in the grip, just turn off ESP and traction control and order the cheeky electronics to allow the GTR to deliver all of its power all the time to the back wheels. Obviously, drifting is guaranteed. So next up, guys, we have the 2017 Acura NSX. Now, this is a remake of the famous sports car made by Honda quite, uh, quite a long time ago, the NSX. It used to rival old Ferraris and Porsches for only a fraction of the price. Now it's one of the most sophisticated hybrid vehicles this planet has ever seen, as everything has been re-engineered from the ground up to make this as fast as possible. And uh, firstly, rear-wheel drive is gone and replaced by a more modern all-wheel drive. Twin turbos have been added to the V6, as well as three electric motors. Finally, lots of electronic systems have made their way to the NSX to make it faster. Uh, <laughs> faster, what word is that? To make it faster, grippier, and as responsive as possible to the touch of a pedal. All of this adds about 500 kilograms to the car's weight, but also allows a 0 to 60 time of 3.1 seconds. 180 plus miles an hour, 580 brake horsepower, and a few seconds shaved off any lap time. 
Uh, it does kill a bit of a myth behind the old NSX, the Japanese sports car co-developed by uh, Ariton Senna. But on the other hand, it's nothing more than a beast of a car, and that can only be a good thing in this game. Last but not least, it's a trip to the past with one of the most legendary race cars of all, the Nissan 300ZX. This car came during one of the most competitive times of IMSA racing in the late 1980s. On one hand, Audi was threatening Datsun and their racing legacy with their brand new IMSA GTO, while Roush Gaming equipped their cars with a 6-litre V8s, and all that was needed to convince Nissan to replace their older, less competitive 280ZX. At first, the 300ZX had a lot of potential, but its new turbos, although producing 800 horsepower, had serious power lag. This proved to be an even bigger problem for the Nissan, who had trouble driving the car in the wet. Over time, this resulted in a reduction of power on the 300ZX to the profit of better drivability. And it wasn't until 1992 that this car became uh, the legend that it is now, dri driven by Steve Millen. By then, Millen won the championship with the 300ZX as well as the Sebring 12 Hours in 1993. He had to stop driving until 1994 because of a huge crash at Watkins Glen, but then still pre uh, preserved and um, persevered. Sorry, and by 1995 he had won another 24 hours of Daytona and a 12 hours of Sebring, and was first in the class at the 24 hours of Le Mans. He ended his professional career after another crash in 1995, but he and his 300ZX will forever remain all the uh, all-time most winning car in the IMSA GTS series. So that's all for those reveals of cars, guys. I did hope you enjoy it. Uh, the let the uh, game is set to release towards autumn time this year, and just promises to be a great sequel to its predecessor, which obviously had mixed reception when it launched. The authentic race experience it aims at will give players a host of new features to make the game more enjoyable, including manual pit stops, multi-class races, and a new league system for multiplayer racing. Of course, as well as these new cars, a lot of other ones are expected to join the launch list, some of which were revealed very recently. But until Project Cars 2 uh, any more news lands, let me know down there in the comment section below what cars you would like to see in Project Cars 2, and whether you'll be picking the game up at all, guys. So let me know down there in the comments below. But that's it for me in today's video, guys. I did hope you enjoy it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you over in my next video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.